Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to make meatloaf and potatoes in the crock pot. Now we have our crock pot on high and I'm just going to just put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in the bottom only because you should never put anything in a dry dry crock pot. Okay for this you're going to need some small new potatoes, um, a couple of crusts of bread, an onion, an egg, one pound of ground beef. This is not ground beef actually it's half and half ground pork and ground venison and I'm going to keep it real simple with the seasonings today it's going to be salt and pepper, garlic and onion. Okay first I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use the kitchen egg and I'm going to throw my couple of slices of stale bread in there with my egg and I'm gonna get that doing its business. I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I'm almost out so I'm gonna say about a half a tablespoon. And of course what would meatloaf be without ketchup? This is our homemade stuff. If you don't have or use bread, go ahead, get out your coffee grinder, grind up some of your dehydrated vegetables. Now not all of my meat, like I said, this is venison and pork, and not all of it is completely thawed. So I'm gonna take the outside first, and then I'm just gonna cut this up. Okay, I just took, took a paring knife and shaved the rest. Because usually when it's that for, that uh, thought on the outside, it's not hard to break up on the inside. We're going to take our meatloaf here, and we're going to do our best to shape it into a loaf. And we're just going to place it down inside the crock pot, just like that. And we're going to take our baby new potatoes. We're just going to drop them around that. They'll actually help it hold its shape. And we're going to put this, the lid on, it's on high, and we'll see you when this is cooked. This will take about two to three hours on high in your crock pot. If you're going to work and you want to leave this for the day, put it on low, okay? Never ever cook on warm, folks. Okay, here is our crock pot meatloaf and potatoes. Now, folks, it doesn't really brown all that much. One of the things about meatloaf in the crock pot is it really doesn't brown that much. So, but one of the advantages is you get all this wonderful juice. So I'm just going to take these potatoes out. I'm going to surround our meatloaf with our taters. And remember folks, if there's any left over, it slices up beautifully for lunch sandwiches. Okay, that's all the potatoes. Let's set that over on the table. Now we have juice for gravy. And what I have here is about a tablespoon and a half of potato starch and a quarter cup of water. And for color and flavor, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of non-GMO gluten-free Bragg soya sauce. Just gives it a little bit of extra color and flavor. And we're just going to whisk this in until it thickens. We'll see you guys at the dinner table. Okay, here's our meatloaf with our crock pot meatloaf with potatoes and gravy. Let's get Papa to the table. Go ahead. Just in, in my defense, any leftover potatoes? No, there won't be any. Okay, Sorry. never mind then. This is crock pot meatloaf. Hmm. Trivia. Awesome. Don't want to heat the oven up for one meatloaf? Do it in the crock pot. It may not brown up, but it's super moist and you can have gravy with it. I said if you need it brown, you can blow torch the top. It's very good without it. Awesome. Take care. Bye-bye.